Hey, it's Pat here. Um, and in this video, I'm going to purposefully record the introduction with a bunch of filler words. Uh, and these are things that you don't necessarily want in your final recording for your video. Um, but there are tools out there like this one that I'm about to show you that can completely make it easy for you to literally remove them in just one simple click. Um, so we'll see how this works. And I'm also gonna show you some other tools and things that this thing has for you to make life editing video and audio easier. Um, we'll see how this works. Hey, it's Pat here. And in this video, I'm going to purposefully record the introduction with a bunch of filler words. And these are things that you don't necessarily want in your final recording for your video. But there are tools out there like this one that I'm about to show you that can completely make it easy for you to literally remove them in just one simple click. So we'll see how this works. And I'm also gonna show you some other tools and things that this thing has for you to make life editing video and audio easier. We'll see how this works. Yes. So I've been talking about this tool called Descript lately, and it's pretty revolutionary in terms of how much time it could save you with your editing. And a couple of videos ago, I shared how you can edit out certain parts of your audio or video by just simply highlighting that part of that transcript, hit delete, and then everything gets smushed together for you. In another video, I shared how the tool can also learn your voice. You have to approve this, but it can learn your voice and then talk after you type something in your own voice. And a computer could say those words in my own voice. What? And it's kind of cool and also scary at the same time. Anyway, I keep finding new reasons to love this tool even more. And actually this was brought to my attention by one of you, the filler removal feature. And you just saw it happen in real time. And I'm gonna show you one more time and some other tricks around it so you can make sure you get it right if you use Descript for your editing. Do you wanna do that? The link will be in the description below. So I'm actually gonna undo the work that we just did. There are the ums again, you can see them here. Now after you record, it'll detect the fillers for you and you can, like I did before, just go to the bottom right hand corner and hit remove and it'll do it for you. But I like to do it this way instead. When I see the ums underlined or the uhs underlined there, I can right click on it and hit remove filler words. And then what'll happen is you'll see all the ones that it is about to take out or that are in question, you'll see here. So there might be some times when you wanna keep them in or it's not a filler word, it's detecting it and you can keep it in. For all of these, however, I'm gonna hit apply to all and there you go. So now it's all gone. And again, like I said, you heard me in the very beginning, put those filler words in and now they're not there anymore. Hey, it's Pat here. And in this video, I'm going to purposefully, re what's really nice is this smushes everything together and creates what's called a jump cut. When I used to edit my videos, this is exactly how I would do it. I would take out the filler words or take any mistakes out or any weird awkward pauses and just smush everything together and it would sound nice and clean. And yes, I do jump around in the frame a little bit, but it's nothing that's going to be too distracting. And it's actually something that's a lot more engaging for a viewer on YouTube, especially. Let's try this again. I'll do it one more time for you. I'm gonna hit here, start camera recording. Hello, we can see me. All right, I'm gonna hit record and then we will go. It records mirrored and then it kind of shoots out regular. Hey, it's Pat here. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna say, but I would imagine that um, after I take all these fillers out, um, it's gonna be a lot faster and cleaner. Mm hmm. I don't know what's gonna do at the end there with the mm hmms, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna hit play. Actually, I'm going to just remove these fillers right here. Uh, five filler words detected, remove, and let's hit play. Pat here, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna say, but I would imagine that after I take all these fillers out, it's gonna be a lot faster and cleaner. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I think I spoke a little too early, but this is an amazing tool because the ums and the uhs, especially if there are too many, um, can definitely be a distraction. I would still not just completely rely on this because then you're not gonna improve. But at the same time, it's just a nice tool to have in case you wanna remove those fillers. So, you know, there's debate on both sides. Hey, this does this for you. Why even worry about it? Well, I think it's important because in real life when you're talking, especially if you're on stage, you don't have the benefit of a tool like this to use. But for audio and video that we're publishing online, yeah, it's kind of nice. Now there's some other fun things that I learned about this tool that I didn't even know was possible until I just started messing around with it even more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to highlight this sentence here. And these are things you don't want in your final recording for your video. Then I'm gonna hit the plus sign and hit down here, I'm gonna go to title. 
So now what this does is it allows me to add text on top of the video, and I know exactly where this text is going to go, and I don't have to adjust it sort of too much because it's going to be on top of the text that I highlighted. So for this text, I'm going to type filler words aren't so great, exclamation point. Let's uh, make this font a little bit smaller so it's in one line. Then I'm going to uh, remove the stroke color and I'm just going to place this maybe um, down here. Filler words aren't so great. So now if I rewind a little bit and I go to this timeline area here, let's just hit play with a bunch of filler words. And these are things that you don't necessarily want in your final recording for your video. See the text there, there showed up. Now I can even play around with it a little bit more. Let's move this up a little bit. And now if I come here, you see this white little line here? This is the fade. So I can move this over and let's put it there. Let's do half a second about, and let's do the same thing on the other end of this. And I'm gonna play, actually, let's just play from I'm going to. I'm going to purposefully record the introduction with a bunch of filler words. And these are things that you don't necessarily want in your final recording for your video. So that's pretty cool. You just saw the text pop in, which is really neat. So now I'm going to add a video. Now the video is not gonna make sense. It's just one that I had handy. It's from a Pokemon channel that I have, but I'm gonna highlight another piece of text here. Uh, let's do it. Uh, I'm about to show you that can completely make it easy for you to literally remove them in just one simple click. All right, so I highlighted that and I'm gonna drop the video right on that track. So the video is processing, but as you can see, it starts right where I put it. I can move it around a little bit if I want to. Uh, I can change it here, left, right, but let's do it here. Okay, where does it end? Ends there, let's fade it in. There we go. And let's fade it out. This is gonna look really strange because again, it's Pokemon. Now there is audio here, I can see it already. But if I go to the clip properties, I can actually turn the volume all the way down or simply just hit M for mute. If I hit S, then that means it would be solo and that would be the only thing you would hear. You wouldn't hear my voice anymore. So M for mute for this particular movie file here. Let's actually go back to before uh, the text and then the video pops into, into play and let's- And in this video, I'm going to purposefully record the introduction with a bunch of filler words. And these are things that you don't necessarily want in your final recording for your video. But there are tools out there like this one that I'm about to show you that can completely make it easy for you to literally remove them in just one simple click. So we'll see how this, see there you go. It came in and it didn't make sense because it was a Charmander, hashtag Pokemon, but it does make sense in terms of how simple it is to use. I dragged and dropped it in after highlighting the part of the video on the transcript that I wanted that to show up. So if you imagine recording once on your face, removing all the fillers, and then decorating your video with state changes, pattern interrupts, video, text, um, pictures popping up, they don't have to take up full screen too. For example, if I went into this video and clicked on the sides here, I could have it show up. Oh, let me click on the bottom there, there we go. I can have it show up in the corner, almost like a little news thing. So let's see what happens if we start there. It's processing, but as you can see, it plays in the upper left-hand corner now, and I can move it around quite simply. So again, you shoot an entire video of just your face. That becomes essentially your A roll. Then you can add on different layers, some text, some video, some audio, uh, even some music, um, images to enhance the video. You can easily chop out the mistakes. You can move things forward much, much faster, and you can get things done much, much easier. This works for your podcast as well. Obviously you won't need video for that, but if you wanna take out the filler words, if you want to add new pieces in and uh, also have the transcript available, it's pretty cool. I'm just very happy that I found this because anytime I could save myself time and save you time, I feel like that's a big win. If you go to patflin.com slash descript, you'll check out the link, give it a shot. It can save you some time. It can also record what's on your screen as well which is pretty amazing. So just a lot of other things that are kind of taking up all the other tools that I have, putting them all in one. Uh, I hope you give it a shot, give it a try, and check out some of my other videos over here where I can show you some of the other fun things that this tool can do for you. Got a lot of stuff coming your way to help you with your content and your productivity. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out. There's the next video right there.